For this Ramadan, you have the opportunity to volunteer for the Spot Charity and meet the children here at Chamia Academy. And meet the orphans here at Spot Okay, sign up for the 2K challenge this Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of I thought we are in need of a W. We are in need of an inspiring story and which other nation to step up to the mark than Indonesia. So Indonesia was offered the under 20s 2023 Football World Cup. It's the fourth biggest population on the planet and the most Muslim majority country so it would have been fantastic for them. In fact it was the biggest sporting event that they would be hosting so it was economically and in terms of culturally it would be really good for them. However FIFA has stripped them from this privilege. Why? Because they refuse to host Israel whom they do not have diplomatic ties with. In other words they do not recognize Israel and they are on the side of the Palestinians. Now before you start making excuses because you're a self-loathing Muslim that just goes with the tide and makes excuses just so you can fit in with the western way of thinking to such a degree that you end up compromising pretty much most of your faith and it's still not good enough mate. Let's look at Russia who were banned by FIFA and UEFA to participate in these tournaments. Was there any outrage? Were people so stripped of their right to host the World Cup? No, none of that mate. In fact FIFA themselves were involved with this decision mate. In fact you can see cases in which people refuse to shake hands with Russians, that's okay. You do the same with Israel, that's a problem. If this isn't the epitome of selective outrage, I don't know what is mate. So as long as you're outraged about something that the West is outraged about, <laughs> that's, that's alright mate, yeah? You're moral, you, you, you're strong mate. Stand up for those human rights. Yeah, there they are. They've been hiding behind Palestine. But just move those Palestinians, those Uyghurs and the Kashmiris, yeah? Move them out the way, flaming Nora mate. Yeah? The display of human rights was being obscured by these killed and maimed Muslims. Flaming Nora mate, do they not care about us and our love for human rights? So guys this is a W, this is inspiring and although I posted it on my community I really wanted to make a video because unfortunately and sadly a lot of us become despondent about the oppression of Muslims. But guys I reiterate this and I want to reiterate this again, Allah will not ask you about the results, Allah will ask you what you did. It could be as simple as boycotting dates. Yeah, here in the UK, you go to any high street supermarket and you see medjool dates, those big juicy ones. They're not going to have the country of origin there. And if you look at the ISBN, it's going to be 729, which means that they're from Israel. But a lot of Muslims have fallen in this trap and I nearly fell into this trap as well. I bought dates from my local shop that said Jordan River on it but I didn't check the ISBN and Israel loves to use the smokescreen of Jordan when trying to peddle their settlement based dates mate. Or like myself, my friends and even the scholars that I hang around with, they order coke. But I have made it a point not to consume coke. Yeah, because that's a way that I want to participate. Yeah brother, but what about that company and that company? Look, on the day of judgment, when Allah asks me, at least I can say I did something mate. I did something. Yes, it may not be big. And you know what? We're at a time that Israel is one of the dominant superpowers, more so than the Muslim majority countries. And you know what? Who cares? Who cares? Because we don't do it for results. We do it for the pleasure of Allah. At a time where Muslim majority countries are literally sidestepping the Palestine issue. They are selling our brothers and sisters down the river mate. The Uyghur issue, Kashmiri issue and the Palestinian issue get sidelined because of economic benefit. And to see a country that would definitely have benefited from the economic benefit to put our brothers and sisters first. You know what? Subhanallah, Allah bless them. Also other countries like in 2019 Malaysia refused to let Israeli athletes enter and because of that they were stripped of the World Para Swimming Championships. Much love to our brothers and sisters around the globe that are showing us what true faith is. It's not worrying about the results, it's about doing the right thing even if it means going against yourself as we are told 
in the Quran. Let's leave it there, guys. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.